Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. This is Sujit here uh, from Benzene. And today in this video, we're going to talk about how to effectively use Jira for your sprint refinement meeting. So let's start. So backlog refinement or a sprint refinement meeting uh, is an optional ceremony in the, according to Scrum Guide but we recommend strongly to the teams to do it. Uh, the intent of backlog refinement meeting is to get ready for the next sprint. So backlog refinement happens uh, either on the fifth or sixth day of the current sprint. Usually uh, the teams spend around one to two hours as a time box for uh, backlog refinement. So let's see how to utilize Jira effectively uh, for our refinement meetings. So as I mentioned, uh, the intention of doing backlog refinement is to get ready for the next sprint. So there are a few prerequisites uh, for the product owner and the Scrum Master to take care of before we enter the product, uh, backlog refinement meeting. So the first prerequisite which uh, the product owner and the Scrum Master need to take care before we enter this refinement meeting is to create the sprint bucket itself and to keep all the prioritized stories which is coming up in the next sprint. If you go to your backlog section in Jira, you will be able to create any number of future sprint buckets so that the product owner can prioritize stories for those sprints. So the Scrum Master need to create a sprint bucket and the product owner need to ensure that the prioritized stories for the next sprint are added into the sprint bucket. The product owner can add stories to the future sprint buckets by uh, selecting the stories and dragging and dropping them to the sprint bucket. So the product owner and scrum master can take velocity as basis to prioritize stories for the next sprint. So the second uh, prerequisite which the product owner needs to take care before we enter the refinement is to detail out the stories which are prioritized for the next sprint. What are the few details which need to be added in a story? One is the story description. The second one, acceptance criteria, detailed acceptance criteria, non-functional requirements. And if there are any design assets to be attached in the story, they need to be attached. So the product owner needs to ensure there is enough data and assets for us to initiate the discussion or the conversation in the refinement. So once we have the sprint bucket with all the prioritized story based on the velocity and we have enough information to start the conversation in the refinement, we are good to start with the refinement itself. So once your refinement starts, the product owner is expected to explain the story, the acceptance criteria and the functional requirement to the entire team. Take the first story, let the product owner explain the description of the story, what is the acceptance criteria needed in the story, what are the functional requirements in detail to the team. The team also can have a round of discussion in terms of the approach they want to take to deliver the story. Once the team understands the story, a round of discussion has happened and the product owner has clarified all the questions of the team, refinement can be used to also break the story into smaller stories if the story is too big. The refinement can happen also to revisit the estimate which we have given as a team. And the third one, the Scrum Master can create blocker or dependency ticket for this story in the refinement. Once the blockers and the dependencies are identified, the Scrum Master gets around five or six more days uh, before we start the next planning to resolve them. How to create blocker or dependency? I have made another video uh, which is on our YouTube channel. Please refer to that. So once a story is picked, the story is explained, it is uh, refined, more details are added, the story is estimated or revisited or re-estimated. Uh, re it is time for us to go to the next story. The same steps we recommend for the se second story as well. Discussion around the acceptance criteria, revisit if, you, if the team wants to break it into smaller stories, find the approach, 
mark the blockers dependencies and continue the same steps for all the stories which are prioritized by the product owner for the next sprint. So once this is done, it should give the team and the product owner a fair bit of idea as to what is coming up in the next sprint, what are the blockers and dependencies we have for the Scrum Masters to resolve it. And this gives a good visibility of the next sprint itself. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope this helped. And if you have any comments or feedback, please post it in the comment section below. Thank you so much.